going to be switching out of my red Essex bag with my guitar strap into my Speedy 30 with a little bit of chit chat. And if you're interested in seeing a little switching of bags, then stay tuned. So first I want to chat before we get to the Louis Vuitton about this gorgeous guitar strap that came out, I believe, in 2019, around that year. And what some people may not know about this strap, it's really long, okay? It's 53 inches. I am roughly 5 foot 6, maybe slightly shorter, but around that height. And this strap is slightly long on me. So if you are under five foot six, five foot four, two, under, this strap is going to be way too long for you to even carry. Um, and of course, there's no adjustments to it. I think that's why some people are selling their straps off. Um, it just fits me around a little bit low, but almost perfect. So I just wanted to, in case you were interested in buying one of these straps, they are long and at least with this bag, all I did was tuck in the straps. I didn't even mess with doing that because I enjoyed carrying this uh, strap with this bag. And I just want you all to be aware that it is a longer strap with no adjustments. I know why they were trying to probably fit everyone the average height more with this strap, but it just doesn't fit on shorter people or skinny or petite. This strap won't work for you. So I just wanted to get that out there um, so you'll know before you pay so much money for one of these Dooney and Burke guitar straps. So... Let's uh, talk about this Essex bag. With this strap, it was perfect. I enjoyed going thrifting, and it's comfortable for me. It's a little low, like I said, but it worked out perfectly just tucking in my straps. And I'm not even sure I changed. <laughs> I didn't even change my wallet or my keys because, you know, we all have those lazy bag switches where you just put in your primary stuff that you need and you go take it out of the house and uh, don't really care if it matches. <laughs> I have some of those days where I want to switch purses, but I just don't have the energy to change all the SLGs. Who's with me on that? Because <laughs> sometimes you just, a bag doesn't go with what you're wearing and you're like, I don't want to change all of this. <laughs> So anyway, I have enjoyed this carry. Thank you for voting. If you voted on that, it, it was awesome. I just wanted you to be aware of how long this strap is. Uh, it is 53 inches from metal to metal at the end of the metal. So that's how long this strap is, 53 inches. So basically all this stuff was what I was using in my domed buckle satchel. And with the makeup pouch with the lips. So I have decided to transfer my e extra little odds and ends into my pochette accessoire. Because I never use this and I am determined to use some of my Louis Vuitton stuff. <laughs> and I did buy this pre-loved. And they are much higher brand new. I'm um, not sure what they're going for on the secondhand market. Even if, you know, I don't even know if anyone's interested in buying Louis Vuitton anymore. I don't know. I see fewer and fewer videos of people unboxing Louis Vuittons. I think that with everything being so much higher than, you know, they maybe saving their coins for other brands. I don't really know, but 
I have decided to use my Louis Vuitton that I did buy. You know, I bought all my Louis Vuittons between 2019 and 2023. And that's the last I have bought of luxury designer brands. I just, I bought it in the height of, you know, the height of all of the, everybody getting these little SLGs and the hype of, uh, the prices might increase, and so, anyway, all that to be said, I'm really not buying luxury designer brands. If you noticed on my channel, uh, I have pretty much switched on over to contemporary, and if the contemporary brands keep rising, raising their prices, I wait for a sale, um, because that's just, I'm just being more mindful of the coins that I'm letting go out of my account for luxury items like this, especially Louis Vuitton new prices, even secondhand. I'm just not interested in purchasing any of these currently. So anyway, I'll stop blabbing and fill this up. This piece right here is from 2002. So it's 22 years old, beautiful, canvas here's the interior i uh, got a little thread inside so while i'm filling this up for you i wanted to tell you a little story about thrifting this past uh labor day i uh saw several fluey batons if you know what i mean uh on their back shelf for $120 or $160, something like that. And <laughs> uh, I asked to go behind the ropes. <laughs> they, you know, you have to be watched while you're looking at the more expensive brands. So I was looking at these supposed Louis Vuitton bags and they were fake. And honestly, they were not super fakes they they I never seen the print of one of them I didn't I didn't film it but there are a lot of fakes that come into a thrift store that I go to and they say that they don't authenticate it they basically just sell it as a bag <laughs> even though it has the LVs on it and honestly on those bags you could tell by the the interior of most of them did not look so clean and as an authentic Louis Vuitton. The threads were, it just, the material was wrong. There's a lot, lot of uh, misses on that deal. But anyway, that's what I wanted to share about <laughs> a little thrifting. So just because you see maybe one of these or a speedy or a never full and damier a bean at a thrift store it does not mean it's real and it doesn't mean that it couldn't be real because they don't authenticate either way so you're gambling whether you think it's real and you can get a th authenticated later but for me you can just tell by certain features on the fakes and the coloring and the inside the patch just there's just little things that I can tell and I would not risk spending even the $120 to see if it's real uh, unless I am pretty confident that it is <laughs> so anyway I just thought I'd tell you that let's finish throwing all of these in here So this is going to be my giant catch-all for my Speedy. And, you know, I just put a couple of charms on here. I really like this charm. I think it came from Amazon, I want to say. And this I've had for a long time. Probably off Amazon, too. It has all the colors. So maybe these poof balls are coming back. I don't know. <laughs> but this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. My first secondhand bag purchase first luxury purchase and I paid $286 for this speedy and I hardly use it 
But one is, how do you get these wrinkles out? You know, I guess it was folded so long that they're permanent. I don't know how to get them out. It's on the back side, but, and I have an organizer, I have a bag organizer inside. I just can't get the wrinkles out. So let's put the pochette accessoire in there. And this is the organizer. I think I got it from Amazon years back. So if you don't like structured bags, then you don't have to buy an organizer and it'll just flop. But I think I'm going to go keep it inside. And then, of course, my Amazon fan has to go in. Tell me down below, are you still buying luxury designer like Louis Vuitton and Gucci and all that? Let me know down below. I am curious. So I emptied this. I still think that these are not worth buying the the uh, six ring key holder, but I have it, so I'm just going to use it for my key that I don't get out <laughs> because it's a nice big bag, so might as well use it, right? Uh, let me demonstrate how you open this because I totally forgot, and I think you push down and then slide it out, and then these little things come off, and then you can attach your key to that, and then let's put it back. Let's see. It's been a while since I've done this, so <laughs> bear with me here. So it's got to go back in the same way, and then back and then down. So, and then push it back, slide it back to the position, and now it's all in. And this piece was made in France. Okay, so I am going to use this because, well, I have it. I might as well use it. The nice thing about these organizers is you can just put your keys over here in one of these little side spots over there getting out of this beautiful fuchsia pink flower wallet. So this is my mace. We're just going to fit it in one of the side pockets over here for easy access. And that's what it looks like so far. And this is my card ho holder, obviously. And I have put a debit card, another card, and then three inside. So I can fit comfortably five cards in this card holder. And this is what I mainly would be my wallet. So this is my card holder. And then on the organizer, I can just slide it in one of those side pockets like that. For the clay or the key pouch, I am going to put gift cards and cash inside. This piece right here has really grown on me. <laughs> so I would recommend a key pouch for sure. In this uh, key clay, I have eight cards, gift cards. I also have my Apple AirTag and some cash right here. So eight cards, cash, and an air tag fits perfectly in the key pouch. Put that in the other side of the bag organizer. I was gonna utilize my round coin pouch, but honestly, I hardly use change anymore and I need to find a different use for this round coin case. If you have ideas, pop them down below in the comment section. Because I really just don't carry that much coin anymore. So let me know what you use this for in the comments. So that is it. It is packed up. It got its charms. And I still could fit so much more, but I am not about that life of overpacking bags. I I only use these items, so why overpack? I just 
don't want to do that. So that's how I packed my Speedy 30. And my very first Louis Vuitton that I bought from Japan. And it was on the site DCT Vintage Japan. If you're interested, that's where I got my first ever luxury designer brand. And they have decent prices, but you have to look at the condition. And they take so many good pictures. This is not sponsored. I just have bought... I also bought this round coin from there as well. And yeah, I I believe they're a trusted seller. And yeah, that's where I got it for $286, which is, you know, a good price. It ha has some patina, you know, obviously, but the canvas is good. There's no piping exposed. It's a beautiful bag. I need to carry it. So that's what we're doing. And let me know about, are you buying Louis Vuitton, Fendi, all that expensive, expensive bags lately? I know some people always will, and that's their prerogative. And I may change my mind in a year or two and go back to it, but right now, I am fine with the quality contemporary sale prices. So, that's what you'll, you can expect mostly from my channel. So, more affordable options sometimes. So, that's what I'm all about. So, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and learn a little, I hope. <laughs> and ring the bell if you want to not miss my videos. That's what the bell is there to remind you, a notification. And I appreciate all of you that have subscribed to my channel and uh, new subscribers. Thank you for coming aboard. I appreciate you. And all of my original subscribers, thank you. And uh, until next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.